Hi everyone, I'm Sue Viscara, and today we're going to talk about Microsoft Outlook and how not to miss an important email. We're going to look at Microsoft Outlook for the desktop app, Microsoft Outlook for the web app, Microsoft Outlook for the smartphone, and in my case, that is an iPhone. Outlook uses rules to make this happen. So what are rules? Rules allow you to move, flag, and respond to email messages automatically. And in some of my other videos, we talk about setting up rules to have emails go directly to a folder. Today, we're going to talk about rules for having a sound and a notification pop up. I added some instructions here in case you guys wanted to take a screenshot. And then I'll go ahead and demo the steps. I'm currently in MS Outlook for the desktop. I see an email from Sue Viscara, and this is the one that I want to receive alerts for. So I'm going to right click on the email. You do not need to open the email. Just right click on the email, navigate down to rules, then create rule. From Sue Viscara, you can ignore the subject, then go ahead down and say display in the new item alert window and play a selected sound. You can browse your desktop to see if there are any other sounds that you are interested in. At this time, I'm just going to leave it the way Microsoft set it and then choose OK. And when the pop up comes up to ask if you want to run the rules now, go ahead and say yes. It's a great practice to have no matter what the rule is that you create. To test this out, I went ahead and opened up one of my other email accounts and decided to send an email to myself. Now, one thing I want to make note of here is I do have my computer sounds turned off. So here we go. You see the pop up notification, but I know that um, you guys did not hear the sound and that's because I have the sound turned off while I'm recording. So I apologize for that. Now, when this email comes up, you can choose to take action or you can close it or you can minimize this window and take action later. Every time that you receive an email from this person, it will continue to add to this window, which can be helpful to look for an old email. Now we're going to navigate over to Outlook Web for the app. Feel free to go ahead and take a snip shot of these instructions. The first thing that I recommend that you do is go ahead and navigate over to your contacts. So over here where it highlights and says people, that's where we want to go. I've already added myself as a contact. So once you've added the contact, you want to right click on the contact and say add to favorites. Once you're back in your inbox, I want you to go ahead to the top right where you have this little symbol. It's a cog wheel for settings. Click settings, navigate down to view all outlook settings. Let's go ahead to general notifications play a sound when a message arrives, go down here, make sure it's blue turned on, send me desktop notifications, check for messages, messages from favorite people. I just sent an email to myself and you can see that there is the pop-up notification at the bottom right to let me know that a new email came from someone very important. Let's take a look at the instructions for the iPhone. Now, just like I showed you a moment ago, how to add someone as a favorite in the web app. We definitely want that person as a favorite. When you are in the Outlook app on your phone, I want you to go to the top left and look for your image or your initials. Click on that image, then scroll down that navigation bar until you see this settings icon. Click on the settings icon. Once you are in the settings, I want you to scroll down to mail notifications and click on notifications. Then you are going to check favorite people and you're going to leave the default sound on for the new email. You do have choices to change the sound. So I have a little bonus for you. So if we, we return to our Microsoft Outlook for the web app, we can mark emails with high importance and we can also pin them. So go ahead and take a snapshot of these instructions. All right, let's try this now with an email. So right click on the email. Then we're going to navigate all the way down to advanced actions, create a rule, more options, 
Then we're going to say all messages from this person. That's fine. Then we're going to add the action number one. We want to pin it to the top. Then we want to add another action to mark it with importance. And then we have to choose high importance. We want to run the rule now and we want to click save. You can see in this example that Outlook has already moved this message to the top, has pinned it and marked it as important. So let's see what happens when we receive a new message. There's a new message. Now remember we had already asked for a pop-up notification. So we received that and it's also going to be at the top of our inbox pinned as important. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you don't want to miss it, go ahead and make sure that you subscribe and click on notifications.